Hey, what's going on, guys? We were left off. We finally beat Vermeer. Caden's gone. And now we're chasing Saren to some sort of weird planet called Ilos, where he's making his last stand. But first, we must go to the council to get their permission to hunt this little boy down and shoot him in the crotch. I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm playing and Facebook keeps updating. It's annoying. Come on, in the elevator. There we go. So we're almost done with the game, I think, because we're going to go after Saren. I, we're going to have the whole last stand thing, and I think that's it. Uh, you know, besides the whole uh, romance scene, I guess. I don't know if I should censor it or skip it or just leave it in there and just make weird comments. M mainly awkward, but you know. <laughs> I'm so tired. Looking for supplies? Mm, not now. Not Maybe right later. Now, oh my god. No I have problem. more people on this ship. When did that happen? Commander, I what can I do for oh, you? What's the matter, Garris? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find. We know where he is. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. It's okay, don't worry. We're getting close, Garris. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. Oh, he won't. I know you're doing everything you can. And if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. It's okay, man. We can do this together. Thank you, Garrett. I'll keep that in mind. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do catch him. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, man? Of course. What is it? Are you... Council might be protecting Saren. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Uh, see, it's kind of possible that they're going to be like, you know what? We're going to just, you know, imprison him or whatever with these light charges because, you know, he was a specter. He served the Council. But, you, seem you know, to have some thoughts on it's this. up to us to bring Speak him to justice. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. True. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Yeah, he's got a point, but we should not take things into our own hands. I mean, he should face charges, but on our own terms. I mean, because we can't exactly take the law into our own hands and just be like, oh, I don't like you, bam. But... You know, if things get out of hand, that's probably what we're going to have to do. So, we'll just see what happens. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, Commander. Oh, the bromance. Commander? Uh, about Caden. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. It's not your fault. It's it's mine. I had to make a Williams, choice. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. Oh, God. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, um, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on the coast? Oh, right. Yeah, the backstory. If you don't know, basically Shepard, before he joined the, well, before he became commander or whatever, uh, had his own little troop, I, guess, I shouldn't say troop, but squad, on this planet called the Coos, and we got overrun, and everyone died but him. So, it's sad. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make him seem like someone who takes everything, and he, he tries to be better, it was my like job a better to get person. Everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember it, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. This is so sad. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Oh, well, she's still not dealing with anyway. it. Well... What's your opinion on the last mission? We can already know that. We've got a hard fight ahead. 
fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. Screw the odds. <laughs> when it comes to the survival of humanity, who gives a rat's ass about odds? We're gonna fight them. Damn straight we will, Skipper. Mm. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. It's okay, we'll get him. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. We're done here? Okay. Equip Ashley. Here's the boring part. Equipping everyone. Uh, can she use snipers? I'm gonna assume she can. And... Jail you? Wait, no. Okay. Uh, wait. How is that better? The medium armor is better than the heavy armor she has on. That's weird. Oh, uh, sure. Give her that. See what it looks like. Oh, she's got camo now. That's weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I see that right? Oh, okay, good. Liberator 2. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, she's got it. Yay. <laughs> she's got my old armor. Uh, just... Uh, right. That was Caitlyn's locker. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm still stricken with grief. Nope, 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 nope. And you can do snipers, but nothing there. Alright, now Rex. Nope, 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 nope. Shotgun, nope, 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 nope. And... Let's see. That one's good. Ooh, no, that one's great. Tally. Uh, she can use a shotgun and I'm guessing pistol, but nothing is there. So Liara now. This is actually going a lot more faster than I thought it would. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nothing there. You good there, girl? And you're good. Okay. Time to sell stuff. What's up, Rex? Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. I know, man. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you, good sir. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Oh, it was. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Oh, he will. No matter what it takes, I'm going to hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. All right, let's get back to so it. So long, Rex. Shepard. What's up? You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Not me. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Uh, I'm sorry for your losses. Captain Kirahi will be missed. But many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. You I really don't like those party. technical terms. Like, oh yeah, everything was sacrificed yeah, for the greater good, even though a lot of good people died. I don't supplies? like that. Makes me feel Let's see what bad. You bet, Commander. Yeah. All right, time to sell stuff. Don't need you. Don't need you. Might need everyone there. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Uh, not you. Not you. Don't need you. Keep you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't. No. 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 Nope. 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 And wow, I have a lot of stuff. Nope. Nope. Get rid of you. Uh. Nope. 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 Uh. Nope. 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 No. 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 Oh my God, that's a lot of stuff. How do I have this much stuff? Nope. Boop. 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 Boom. Man. I have so much of the same things. It's ridiculous. You. Bam. 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 Thank you, Ham. Sam, I am. I'm gonna get rid of all of those. This is so annoying. Why do I have so much of the same stuff? Alright, we're good. Alright, let's talk to Tally now. 
and we'll talk to Liara. And oh my God! Even though I Shepherd, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, you're feeling better, Tally. Good to see you smiling again. Sort so of. To speak. <laughs> I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Well, don't worry, you will. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of you. Why? What's so special about you? Hmm. It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. Wow. So, in a way, she's kind of royalty. That's kind of pressure. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. Maybe like killing a rogue specter? If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What if we save the galaxy, hmm? The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The oh, events beyond the flotilla she's lecturing don't much me. matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out again. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. So what's the answer? What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders. Was oh, this the her loyalty quest? And all the quest? Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. Mm -hmm. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Okay. I should go. See you later. That was a lot more of her talking than I'm used to. Alright, to the elevator, talk to Liara, then we go to the council. I got my priorities straight. Don't say that I don't. Come on. Ah, oh, I hate how long this elevator seems. It seems like it goes on forever. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. There we go. All right, to Liara. Da 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 da. Open. Thank you. Wait, replenish. Oh, I don't need any. <gasps> yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving? Oh, I think I already asked her this. So I'm gonna skip all right. this. But humanity needs the alliance. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Right, because I was gonna see if I could talk to her about Caden, but you know. <laughs> Commander, are you coming to check I up on me? I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Doctor Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge yeah, of Asari she's physiology. She's the best. You're we had hand. this conversation before. Dr. I mean, Chakwas come on. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Why? He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. Exactly. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. No, he's... I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust she's, for power she's and got glory? a point. I mean... He's sort of a pawn, and he doesn't even know it. I mean, he's practically giving up everything that he's ever known, who he is, because of Sovereign. It, yeah, you know, she makes sense. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Okay, let's go. I should go. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Alright, now let me check my locker because it's right here. Because I usually get... Oh, what? Why is it open? I usually get something good after every mission. That's lame. Alright, up the stairs. I never really went up these stairs. I always take the other one. I know they go to the same place, but I don't care. Come on, open up. Thank you. Alright, galaxy. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gap. About time. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Hmm. I mean, it's about time the Council and all the alien species got together for a single cause. I mean, it's about time. Because everyone's just all like, oh, our species is better, or, oh, your species is just this kind of stupid. You know, it's annoying. And we're parking. That's it. Put the suckers on. Yeah. Alright, who are we gonna take? No one. Straight Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Seren. Mm -hmm. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Well, wait, just to the Citadel? What about Ilos, though? How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the new relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. That's... it's not over. Send me after him. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. Mm-hmm. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Oh, like you would have Your not done the same you exact well thing. Your style served Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation well, what about under the conduit? control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Well, the Reapers! Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Even now. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. No, because you're all being there jerks. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Oh, you're taking their side now? You bastard, you're selling us out. Thank you. It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grumpy. You, S.O.B. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. This is all he ever wanted. He only wanted power. He doesn't want human recognition. He just wants a spot on the Council. That little jerk. Oh, I look like I'm crying. Am I? I can't tell. Oh, the Commander. glitchiness. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not you, though. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. Yeah, I know. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. <sighs> There's bigger issues, though. I don't care if they ground me. But they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. What's the use, though? I mean, even as much as we try to convince them, they won't listen. And I pushed them mm. as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy no, to extinction? No, it's not that. 
We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Thank you. Oh. Are we having a moment? I believe we are. Just just kiss already. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, Joker. Anderson. Were you listening? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. Uh-huh. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Great. Oh, Caitlin's blacked out. All right, randomized. Boom. Wait, didn't we take Rex on the last mission? Not, not you, Rex. Stop it. Oh my God, not you guys. There we go. Ash and Tally. That makes sense. Well, not really, but better than having the same exact people I had on the last mission. Equalizing interior pressure. Got two renegade from that. How? Atmosphere. All right, all right let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Exo Presley has the deck. That was fun. All right, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you. To C sec. All right. I'm gonna pause it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what game you guys want me to play next, and let me know what kind of a person you want. To After stop years of Wait. poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Okay. Never mind then. That was really pointless. Alright, anyway, let me know what game you guys want me to play next, and let me know what kind of professor you want Gustavo Shepard to be. Alright, peace and out. Bye.